Salah ibn Ayyubi, whose counterpart is honored at the parliament with a statue. And I would hope one day that the British erect a statue of Salah ibn Ayyubi to be next to him at that parliament. Because Salah ibn Ayyubi is a universal man. He's a man that is not just the property of the Muslims. He's the property of anybody that believes in what is true and what is right. Because this is a man who led an army into Jerusalem after decades of persecution and oppression at the hands of Christian Europeans who in their own records admit that blood flowed in the streets of Jerusalem up to the ankles of their horses. That in one day alone, 70,000 men, women, and children were killed. And this is a man that when he entered that city, not only did he give a general amnesty, but he gave them the right to go back to their countries in Europe with their property and demanded that Sunday church be held the next day in their churches. And not only that, he reinstated the right, the, the, the divine right of every Jew on this planet to go to Jerusalem and celebrate the place that they hold sacred. The divine right, that is a right from God that every Jew has to, and the issue of Palestine is not an issue of religion, it's an issue of sovereignty. We are not people that are hateful of the Jews. And if you are, then you're misinterpreting your religion. Because we have testimony time and again of the honor that the Muslims gave of the letters that were sent out by the Ottomans to their embassies in Europe, telling them to encourage the Jews who are being persecuted in the lands of the Christians to migrate to the Ottoman lands. We have Jewish rabbis recorded in works by Bernard Lewis in the Jews under Islam, in which he clearly states that rabbis in the Ottoman Empire sent letters to their co-religionists saying, leave the oppression of the Christians and come to the land of the Muslims where you will flourish. And this is why I am proud to be a member of a religion that over a thousand years ago was teaching pluralism was teaching tolerance, was rejecting the discourse of racism. I am proud of the fact that I can say, my prophet said, and I know of no other historical prophet that actually condemned racism in no uncertain terms. When he said there is no preference of a black man over a white man or a white man over a black man, except in consciousness, in his awareness of his God, and that is something known to God. سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجمي محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين